Right then, it's um, half past nine. I'm in Holford and I'm going up Holford Coombe. I've just got this will be the first Sony video of the day. I've done what I want a small one, I think, on um, on the Kodak, just a small introductory one when I arrived. And the car park was apart from one small car was empty. Yeah, I've decided to come up this. It looks a bit dark, doesn't it? But that's because there's been lots of lush growth. Um, a path, if you want to go up there, climb up there, which I sometimes do in a minute, you can get on the path that takes you up to the Dowsborough Hill Fort. What I remember about it is a hell of a steep climb up. In fact, it's just as bad coming down. But if you carry on, if you want to do a bit of the comb, and then wait till you get to a path that will take you up. That's what I'm going to do today. Or I'm going to carry on and do ladies' comb. So anyway, I've tucked my trousers and my socks. Because it's going to be a warm day. And those little creatures called ticks will be out. Waiting. So this is just a very small video, folks. Of Sheila's wander on the Quantock Hills. Now in a month's time I'm going to do a type of anniversary walk up to Higher Hair Nap from over Bicknoller Way or Crocom and I'll tell you why I'm doing that. Because I never knew when I did that walk on that morning on that beautiful day that people were being massacred in Israel and then obviously nearly a year later over 40,000 Palestinians slaughtered by the Israelis in a genocide attack. Um, a year ago when I did it on October the 7th I didn't know I'd been on a bus and a train I had no idea about it so I didn't have no radio I didn't want talking to nobody and I had a beautiful walk, which I recorded. It's on video, it's on YouTube. Anyway, I didn't know, even when I came back on the bus and the train, nobody mentioned it. Nobody. Not one single person. It wasn't until I got home, put the kettle on, put the telly on, just to see if anything had gone on in the world. And I couldn't believe it. I was placing stones on the Carn for peace for the world, for my family and friends. I took pictures, I did a video when I was up on higher hair nap. So anyway, in a month's time I'll be doing like a return walk and I'm going to place another Carn. Now let me just tell you something, which I'm not going to do, but I could if I wanted to. I would go up there. I have gone up there. You walk straight up, you just do it a bit at a time. It levels off a bit, then it goes up again, and you're on the main path to take you up. But because I want to do a little bit of the coom, I'm not doing that. I'm going to do a route where there is a path going up. It's, um, in fact, it brings you back a bit. It is a bit of a U turn for a little while. Oh, look at that. But it is a U turn for a little while, but then you get on the main track and you can walk through Dowsborough Hill Fort over to Crocombe Car Park, where this day and age they usually have an ice cream van, by the way, if you wanted one. Then I'm going to do that lovely walk back. Um, across the Macmillan Way. Now I'll decide when I get to the Bicknoller Post whether I want which route to take back to Holford. But it's going to be one of those lovely, gentle walks today. And I feel enlightened as well. Now then, Shell. Just look here, love. Do you want to go up the coom? Just look. If you go up there, I think it takes you. I'm not sure though where you can meet the track. 
I'm not going to do it though. I'm going to keep to my original. Uh, there's another way that you could have come from Hodges Coombe, which is the other side of that hill there. Uh, still a lot of exploring to do. I went up there once and followed that, and I'll tell you what, don't do that. After a while, that track peters out. I remember now a lot, and you get lost in the ferns. Tickland galore! So don't go up that one. It was really difficult when you get up, and you don't always get up onto the path you want. There's some masses of ferns and gorse up there. Right, now I'm jumping from subject to subject. But I feel today, the Contox is a healing place for me since childhood. Now, uh, because it's a healing place for me, I come here when I feel good and, and sometimes when I feel a bit sad because it brings me out with it. And I feel really good today. Do you reckon you can go that slippery? Do you reckon that slippery shell? Yeah, I think you should go on there. Wait a minute. We don't want to get wet at the start of the walk, do we? That's it. Yeah, so I'm on my walk today. This walk, like I said, even if I'm happy or sad, helps me a lot. And, um, oh, I just love this place. I said it's a healer. I've got a feeling we have to cross a lot of streams here. What I remember is that you have to keep dodging from one stream to another. And this isn't Summerton Coombe, as far as I know. And yet I remember walking on that side. No, it's nice to do this, so. I keep jumping. I'm sorry if I keep jumping from subject. But basically, I'm, this is Holford Coombe. And, uh, yeah, I just feel enlightened. I really do. It's, um, I want to share my walks with others, and I do. But I've got so much family tree to do it's like god I'm never gonna catch up I haven't even started on the Lincoln stuff yet that I did oh yeah no I haven't even started on it <sighs> anyway so I'm gonna turn off for now so we won't have any batteries left we're just gonna cross this stream I know it can be faster than this, by the way. Um, that's probably why you should have gone over there, Sheila, isn't it? Yeah. It's all right, we'll get across, I'm not bothered. I haven't really tested these shoes out properly yet. All right, so go. Missy, where are you going to go? Go on there, 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 and there. There we go. Yeah, when the winter comes, you wouldn't be able to do that, would you? Oh, look at those trees. I do hope all this is going to come out. This is my place. This is my little Eden. This is where I love the quanta of the Mendips, but I tell you what, this is my favourite place in the whole of Great Britain. I've seen some beautiful places. This is because it's from childhood, is it? Yeah, it's from childhood. Why I love this place, I'm keeping an eye out for deer. My sister Jude could be around, could she? Yeah, she's saying, Oh, you're going to a different place, Sheila. I said, Yeah. I gotta do it all, Jude. I'm gonna end up at where you're supposed to. Well, I don't know where you are, but they told me Crocom Car Park. You're like Richard the Third. You're gonna be. Not a soul in sight at the moment. All right, turn off for a minute, Sheila. Right, we're back on. We're going along Holford Coombe. 
And it could have been, it's possible, this could have been always been the coom we came in as kids. And not the other one, not Slaughterhouse Coom. It could have been here. It looks more like more space, more room. And so although we used to call it Holford Glen, it could have been. They're very similar, some of the coombs. But there seems to be a lot more space here, but it might not have always looked like this. Might not have always looked like this. It's very pretty, isn't it? I've caught some photographs with um, the early morning mist. I expect sort of that two hours ago when the sun was rising, there would have been some beautiful photos of the mist here rising. <laughs> And what I remember, I think I've walked both sides of here, by the way. Now what happens, I can see a path where I've got to go up in a minute, I think. Um, I think this, you, if you carry on up here, it, it takes a fork. And you can go up what's called Lady, Lady's Coombe, I think it's called. Not Lady's Edge, I think it's called, or Woman's Coombe, or something like that it's called. Or you carry on round up Frog Coombe. And that takes you out to what I always refer to as the solo tree. But that could be, yeah, that ain't summer chicken coom. That's coming up here, yeah. Like I said, years ago when we came with the schools, we used to run up these into the trees and get caught by the ants. And But we used to be able to eat the berries, the blueberries that grow on all these bushes here. I don't know if they've done it and gone. I don't know. This is um this is Holford Coombe. If you look on the map you'll see it Holford Coombe. I'm still looking for a path that would go that suddenly goes like that and then takes me up, up there to a path. If not I'll carry on, you know. If if it doesn't if it doesn't look clear enough, it might not be the one. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful day today, by the way. Is it? And don't forget, when we do find, if we do find that path, what happens? It does take you back on yourself for a bit. You know, so you might think, "Oh, I'm going back." You know, it's just to join that path. That's all. Or you, otherwise, you're you're going to miss. Otherwise, you're going to miss Dowsborough Hill Fort. You won't be able to walk through it. You'll be de too, you'll be too far down, and you won't want to go up. Um, yeah, that's, these are all blueberry bushes and gnarled trees of of Holford. Events in the world, I don't really know. I haven't watched a great deal of news. All I know is um, this new Tory, I mean, Labour Party. <laughs> they um, want to ban smoking it outside in pub gardens, every, every public place. Now, I have been a smoker. I understand the desire for a fag. I do really understand it. But I also think I gave it up. It took me a while to train my brain to do it. Because they say once a smoker, always a smoker. So, out of my life, I'd smoked for 32 years of it. That's me smoking myself. But I also had to inhale everybody else's. So for 42 years, or 40 years of my life, I didn't smoke. So the non-smoking is overtaking the smoking now. Oh, look at that lovely tree. What beautiful tree you are. Hello. Gorgeous tree. My goodness, you're full of character, aren't you? Full of character you are. Look at you. I bet you've got loads of wasps in you. So that's the, what we're talking about to news, yeah. So that's what they're talking of bringing in a total smoking ban in all public places, including parks. 
um, all pub gardens outdoor spaces now I do believe in it because it is known to be a killer and the only thing you should do and vapes they're not including vapes at them. now to me vapes are as bad they create a habit especially amongst children and they still invade the very very delicate lungs I might think my lungs would be much better now if I hadn't been exposed to fags but there's nothing I can do about it because when I was growing up it was the norm everybody smoked and when I was a teenager everybody smoked even though the, the adults will say oh you mustn't smoke it's bad for you it was everywhere in all the shops you could even smoke in the dentist's surgery while you're waiting do you know what I mean it was it was that's what it was like I grew up in that atmosphere since then thousands and thousands if not millions have died of cancer and related heart problems losing the legs as well as a common one it cuts off the peripherals anyway I don't want to go on about that I'm just bringing out the news um, Israel is starting to attack the West Bank of uh, Palestine now claiming it as theirs it was never theirs and I, I'm dead against it they're killing people. They're starting to attack West Palestine. Uh, yeah, West Bank, it's like they did Gaza. Because they've nearly destroyed, well, they have destroyed Gaza. And, uh, and, and um, the Lebanon, Beirut and all that, they, the Hezbollah, I think they're called, and other groups are trying to fight back. And, you know, Nobody wants anybody to fight back in a way, but what were they supposed to do? If your people of your culture are being slaughtered, and of course it has happened over here when the Normans came, when the Anglo-Saxons came, when the Vikings came, they slaughtered the locals, raped the women. And, um... Anyway, that's what's going on there. Um, there's been a big earthquake somewhere. I, I, um, oh yeah, Portugal and Spain have suffered a big earthquake. Iceland are still having really massive eruptions from one of their volcanoes, which nobody talks about much because they don't want to put the planes off from flying. Um, the Paralympics are on in Paris. I think we won two gold so far, England or UK. Um, Paralympics are on. Football season started. Um, yeah, there's a lot, there is a lot going on. I can't remember everything. So that's a little summary for now. Because I often put in bits of news because if I look back at the video, they're like reference points to what was going on at the time when I did the walk. I can think, oh yeah, I remember now. So I haven't seen the path going up yet, have you? No. Could have disappeared. That's what happens sometimes. I got a f I just got a feeling I can see that small ridge like going that way. I'm probably imagining it. Anyway, to all my subscribers, followers, fans, um, dedicated insomniacs and whatever, um, I work, there's an awful lot I've got to put on YouTube yet. Loads, and that's my winter job, doing all that, sharing and getting the web links for the family tree stuff. I see, I could have done with staying in today, but it was a nice day yesterday. But did, do I do any family tree stuff? All I did was St. Martin's of Exon as MP4. Um, I never got round to doing a lot on the tree. Loads of it's got to go on YouTube at the moment. And um, I'm sharing my videos straight to Facebook because YouTube won't let me share my stuff. 
So what I intend to do now, because YouTube is doing that, because uh, some of my videos are already MP4, I'm just sharing them straight to Facebook. Um, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm sure there's got to be a path soon. It doesn't matter, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I feel so blessed to be out here with this beauty, the babbling brook. It's funny, when I found this lovely lady that I met when I was in Lincoln, just quite spontaneously met her, um, and then I met her again the next day, and she said, oh, we'll meet again. And I didn't think any more of it at the time. But she put on, um, she put on, on her site, a image of Tennyson's statue, where I took a picture of her. I've, in fact, I'll share that picture with her soon. And she recited his little bit of a verse, where he's holding the little... I think he's holding a little flower in his hand or something. He's, 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 he's saying, she knew that. She recited that to me when I met her. Of course, I am a fan of all like Tennyson, um, Wordsworth and Coleridge, because this is words, where I am now. This is Wordsworth and Coleridge walking, stomping ground. This is where they got inspired to write all some of their most famous works. And, um, so yeah, yeah, she, she, um, she put that on, and it was nice to hear her voice saying it again. Yeah, I can't see the path, you know, maybe there isn't one, maybe I imagined it, maybe it's grown over, could have been like, going like that, see. It was near a ford, though. When I looked on the map last night, we, I don't carry maps about. When I, yeah, because actually, if you go over there now, that takes you up Frog's Coombe. We'll be turning into Ladies' Coombe, and the hill fort will be up there somewhere. <sighs> but I can't see no path. It could be that's not been used. I, it looks like it could go that way. I'm not. I'm not creeping through ferns. I'll carry on up if it's um, going to be disappearing. Yes, yeah, so it was nice to hear her voice again. And uh, I didn't know that she would... Um, I came off the Lincoln Friends site because I thought, what's the point of being on it? I don't, I can't, I don't live up there. I can't um, just meet all these people, which would be right if I lived in... In fact, they're friendlier than Western. That Lincoln not. Could I would easily make friends with them. They've got all sorts of ideas and suggestions. Um, and they're not bitchy either. Well, I might go back on it. But not yet. I won't go back on it yet because I don't want to... Because I've already had several of them wanting to befriend me. Yeah, so it's interesting. It's nice to hear a voice. I've now... Uh, I, I don't know if I can get a copy of that. But there's nothing weird about this um, meeting of this person. It's the touching of spirits for me. And the touching of somebody intellectual. With a pioneering mind. Like she said, neurodiversity. Um, I've missed, I've missed that sort of stimulation, to tell you the truth, since I was, I haven't really had it since I was a, in academia. I tried it out a bit last year when I did an archaeology anthropology course called, uh, I think it was called Death and Dying or Do Death and Burial or something. And, um... But it, it wasn't what I thought. I thought it was going to be a Zoom thing where we, we, we'd be interacting with each other. That's what I thought it was going to be. And um, it didn't turn out to be like that at all. 
there was no interaction. There was a couple of videos. That's why they didn't put my comments on. Because I said I thought there'd be more interaction with Zoom. I, I suggested it to them. That would have made it even better. Do you know what? I look somebody sent me a Cambridge University thing the other day. Co course of all the courses. Do you know I show us to do a six month course now with them, say on say on anthropology? Three thousand pound. Really? Yeah. Three thousand pounds. You could probably break it up. I expect they let you pay it in bits. Like, you know. That one thousand five hundred for the first three months, you know, you might you might do. Aha! Look what I see, a path. Now, we need to do it really if we want to do the fort. Do we? Yeah. If you want to do the fort, Sheila, you need to get up there. Even though you can easily follow that path there and just go straight through Woman's Coombe, whatever it's called. Um, this is where we've got to go. There's the path, look, up there. It's a very steep bank to climb now, isn't it? What we do, what we do, we're just going to have a little bit of walk there and then join up with it there, I think. Right, over and out for a minute. 